Well, we want to welcome Dr. Trudy Pieper back on our set with us. And Dr. Pieper is a naturopathic doctor. She practices out of Johnstown, Ohio, near Newark. And um, the issue we're going to talk about now is something that's a little uncomfortable, but let's face it, we all deal with it one time or another, hopefully every day. That's right. <laughs> Should be daily. It should be daily, and that's um, getting your colon rolling. And um, I borrowed that from you, Thank by the you. way. Thank um, you. But yeah, I'm sure that you see problems of all sorts when it comes to our colon, don't you? You know, it's amazing. It's probably one of the top ten issues I have to deal with in my practice. Mm -hmm. uh, constipation is a fact of life today uh, with many, many people. It's an indicator for general health, and it affects every organ and system in your body. So it's very important to make sure your colon's rolling on a daily basis for your health. Definitely. Well, I have to tell you that I'm scheduled for my colonoscopy now that I've reached that, that beautiful age of 51-ish. And, um, <laughs> you know, it, it is important. And I think that, um, you know, we tend to just think, oh, it'll go away or, or those problems will disappear. But sometimes they are an indicator of something more serious. They are, and everyone from time to time has problems with constipation. Mm -hmm. um, you're, on a hur you're in a hurry, um, you've changed your diet. It's d little things will make a difference on whether you're being regular or not. And we spend $1 billion a year in laxatives in this country. Oh, you're kidding. So that's a lot of money you're putting out. And so what I would like to suggest, or maybe it's just some regular maintenance of your colon, will help you so you don't have to spend the money on the laxatives, and then a few tips that maybe will help you when you are having problems. Okay. Um, there's three important tools that will help you keep you regular. It's water, fiber, and probiotics. So water, you need to make sure you have enough fluids. The major cause for constipation is dehydration. Okay. If you don't have enough fluids, then your stools cannot pass through the colon and you are constipated. So making sure a minimum of six glasses of water a day is what you need to have to make sure you have enough fluids in your body, and that's a minimum. And didn't you say in a previous show, too, that you want to make sure that you look at your weight, divide it in half, and that yes. really is what you need? Right, and that's all fluids that you take in a day's time, which should be you take your weight. If you're 100 pounds, you divide that in half to be 50. You would need 50 ounces of non-caffeinated fluid every day. Okay. And within that, if you could do six cups, 48 ounces of that of water, then you're going to be even better off with okay. do that. So you take your water and then you have to add fiber. Now fiber is the uh, materials that when you eat food that's not digested in your stomach and goes into the colon. And it, what it does, it acts like a sponge and absorbs the fluid that's there and helps your stools to soften so that they can move through the system. So um, you need five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Apple, the skin on the apple is a wonderful fiber. Celery, the little strings that are in there that are harder to digest, that goes into your body and then becomes fiber for your body, for your colon to cleanse it. Okay. And the fine is probiotics. We know that good bacteria is necessary to keep our systems working properly. And if you've had any kind of antibiotics, you know that destroys your, your colon uh, flora, bacteria. Um, any kind of medication, uh, nervousness, worry, stress, all deplete the good bacteria in your colon. So on a regular basis, you need to, to replenish that. And there's some really easy ways of doing that. Um, yogurt that doesn't have sugar in it. Mm -hmm. You can put your own fruit in there and make uh, some Greek yogurt. And that has um, active particles in it that will repopulate the colon. A kefir, sauerkraut, and even apples have a little bit of probiotics in them to rebuild your colon back up. And if you have to purchase uh, a probiotic, get the ones that are refrigerated because then they're live cultures that are sitting on the shelf, not refrigerated. They probably aren't live and they oh. aren't going to do you a lot of good. Okay. And you need at least five billion per serving. Uh, you'll p have people try to sell you 50 billion, but your body can only absorb five billion at a time. Oh, okay. So go with a lesser one of at least five billion uh, live cultures in the probiotic. Is there such a thing as having too much of any of these? Um, you know, for example, if you're just going through a stage where you are constipated, but sometimes you have the opposite problem. Yes. Okay. It can be, um, we always say things to bowel tolerance. Um, another thing I can say was like vitamin C. You take vitamin C for, if you're feeling constipated, vitamin C will help, but you take it to bowel tolerance. When your body will tell you when it has enough, then you'll start having loose stools. So you back off of what it is you're taking. So if it's vitamin C, if it's probiotics, with probiotics, you'll notice that you start to feel a little gassy. 
you've got too much good uh, bacteria in there and it's making so that your, your colon is just feeling a little uncomfortable, okay. then back off of the probiotics. So okay. your body, just listen to your body. And I also have found personally that exercise keeps everything moving. It does. You have to have the exercise. Mm -hmm. If you're doing the water, the fiber, and the probiotics, and you move, then your body moves. Yes. And when you move, then you can move things through. Yes, very good. Um, and then there are other, um, we're running out of time, but there are other elements that can help as well. Olive oil. Olive oil is a, an easy um, one tablespoon a day will help you. I think it tastes great. It helps clean the gallbladder and it also then coats the colon to make things easier, smooths the lining and helps it to move through. Do you drink that on its own or you can just, put it in recipes? And you can put it whatever, however you want to use it. I find just a tablespoon is, I think it's refreshing. I like it. Do you? So okay. I just take that first thing in the morning and it'll coat things and I'm good to go. Uh, another one is blackstrap molasses and blackstrap <laughs> is not a brand name but it's a type of molasses. So regular molasses will not work. It has to be blackstrap because where they have, they have uh, boiled it an, an extra time, they have processed it one more time, and they've taken that processed molasses and it's higher in minerals, particularly okay. magnesium, which causes peristalsis, which allows your colon to move the, the stools through it. So okay. blackstrap molasses, black seed oil, and Epsom salt is always surprising to people. If you're really constipated and you need to go, Epsom salts in some water, and if it doesn't do it every four hours until you move. All right, very good. Well, I know that there's much more that we could talk about, but unfortunately, we are out of time, Dr. Pieper. And I just again want to thank you so much for being with us and sharing your knowledge. And um, it's it's just a good reminder that you know we have options out there, and it's it's always in our best interest to explore them. It is. Thank you so much. So, I always love being here. Thank you, and safe trip back to Johnstown. Thank you. All right, back to you.